Hello everyone. Welcome to Admin 1 on Linux. In this tutorial, we will discuss about startup in Oracle. Starting up an Oracle database instance. The initial stage of the database shut down. But the first stage of startup is no mount. In no mount stage, the database instance started. Starting up an Oracle database instance, mount. This is the second stage of startup. In mount stage, controller file opened for this instance. Starting up an Oracle database instance, open. This is the last and final stage of startup. In open stage, all files opened as described by the control file for this instance. Startup options examples. Using the spell class utility, startup, startup no more, Walter database mount. Walter database open. Using the server control utility with Oracle restart, SRBCTL start database minus D here the database name, then O mount. Starting up an Oracle database instance, first we need to shut down the machine. So first I need to uh, uh, log in with Oracle user, Oracle, Oracle, clear the screen. Now we will uh, connect with sysdb, so SQL plus slash as sysdb, here we can, we are now at uh, sysdb, so, so user, here we can see user is sys. CLSCR. Now we will shut down the machine. So, how do we do that? Shut down. Shut down in progress. Or shut down progress uh, completed. So here we can follow the possible steps for shutdown. Database first close, then database dismount, and then database instance shutdown. So now we will restart the instance on no mount stage. So first, uh, how do we do that? CLSCR, and then and then uh, start up. No mount. no mount. Here we can see the startup is in progress. Here we can see only database instance started. So this is the database instance parameter, fix size, variable size, database buffer, rate of buffer, and total system is the global system global area. Those are the uh, instance of a database information. So only database instance will be uh, started when we execute the startup no mount stays on startup uh, process. Let's see the status of a database. So select start from select status actually status from v dollar v dollar instance here we can see the status started means our database instance is started one thing is remember from this uh, startup mode, no mount mode when database is in no mount our database instance is created by reading the sp file Allocating the SGA, starting the background processes, opening the alert log, alert 
log and trace file. Now we will open another uh, duplicate session. Here I just want to log in with Oracle. Oracle. Clear. Now we will open the alert file to trace the uh, trace of uh, startup. So let's see. JL minus 200F slash U. 01 slash Raquel slash Diag slash RDM RD B MS DBA one six seven DBA one six seven. This is the database, then trace, then alert. This is the alert file. So if I hitting on enter key, you can see the alert. This is the alert uh, log file. So if I uh, minimize this uh, and resizing them, this is the scale plus and this is alert log. So. Now we will go to mount stage in startup. So, how do we do that? Ultra database mount after hitting an enter key, we can see the trace file changing. Hello, our database altered means the database. Uh, in mount status mount status so we can check the in mount status mounting a database includes the following associating a database with a previous started instance locating and opening all the control files specified in the parameter files reading the control files to obtain the names and statuses of the data files and online read or log files allows to perform specific maintenance operations renaming data file enabling and disabling online data logs performing full database backup let's see the status of instance so here it is. Here we can see the status in mounted mode. Let's see the last stage of uh, startup open. Let's open the database instance. Here we can see the trace file changing database altered now we can see the uh, database state status so select status from v dollar v dollar instance here we can see the database status in open status on startup mode now we will see the database mode, mode uh, log mode. So let's see how do we do that. This is the snippet. Select open mode, log mode from v dollar database. After hitting our enter key, we can see open mode read and write. So that is cool. Log mode, no archive log. In the opening mode, the opening the database includes the following. A normal database operation means that an instance is started and the database is mounted and opened. 
any valid user can connect to the database and perform typical data access operations, opening the data files, opening the online data log files. If any of the data files or online data log files are not present, when you attempt to open the database, the Oracle server returns an error. During this final stage, the Oracle server verifies that all data files and online red log files can be opened and checks the consistency of the database. If necessary, the system monitor is on. Background process initiates instance recovery. You can start up a database instance in restricted mode so that only Oracle database user with the restricted session system privilege can connect to the database. One example, if you want to database, if you want to database in read only, then execute the following execute the command in mounting phase. But to do this, you must restart at mount mode the database instance first. Let's see. So we need to go at mounting phase. To do this, we need to shut down the shut down then start off. So let's we need to shut down. Shut down immediate. Just uh, follow the address file. Our shutdown immediate process is in progress. So database closed, then database dismounted, and then instance will be shut down. Stopping background process. And then finally, instance shutdown completed. Here we can see Oracle instance shutdown. So now we we'll, uh, now we will start up mount. So how do we do that? Start up mount. Here we can see the no mount stage skipped, but start up mount is uh, now in progress and it is in a uh, stage of uh, mono mount the, the database instance so here you can see the sga p size variable database buffer rate of buffer and finally database mount now we will alter the database in often read only mode not read write mode only read write mode read mode read only mode so how do we do that alter database open read only after hitting an enter key we can see database altered if you see the mode of the database select open mode or lock mode from read alert database here we can see the database is in read only mode now we will discuss about restricted session on system privilege so first we need to rest, uh, shut down immediate now we start up now we will create a new user so I just want to create a new user with the name of A with the password of uh, A. So after hitting on enter key, we can see the user created. Now we will create another user B. Create user B identified by B. User created. Now grant session privilege for both A and B user and succeeded now we restrict the session for user a so this is the session restricted user 
so if i restart the machine or database or shut down the uh, database database shutdown completed clacr now we will start the instance of a database in restrict mode start up here we can see the trace file for startup in restriction mode now we will create a duplicate session for the oracle user oracle oracle clear and then connect with a user sql plus a slash a show user here you can see the user a now we will open another duplicate session Raquel Raquel clear the screen and execute this command spell plus we will connect to uh, b user actually here we can see the message for restrict mode because the database in restrict mode restricted mode so oracle only available to user with the restricted session privilege so this user is not in a uh, uh, restricted mode so that's for reason uh, the b user restricted to login now we will disable the restricted session for all user so how do we do that alter system disable restricted session after hitting on enter key system altered means the b user can log in again so this is the b user okay now we, we can try by using this one here we can see the b user logged in so show user here we can see the b user is in is in connection mode so this is the restricted and without restricted we can able to enable restricted session on database open mode so after doing this one we will uh, not we will able to uh, connect with a restricted session to user without a restricted session user cannot do that so let's see this is the folder session the enable restricted on database in open mode after hitting on enter key we can see system alter so go back to this user and connect b slash b again here we can see the message oracle only available to users with the restricted session privilege so this restricted session enable um, can be happen in database open mode also now again we will disable the restricted session mode so this is this one older system disable restricted session system alter so let's go uh, to the user connect to connect the b connect b slash b here we can see the user be connected now we will see the user user info like username and its sid and serial number so how do we do that i just want to clear the screen select username sid serial number as from b session where username is not null so after hitting an enter key we can see the hellos but uh, i need to configure it uh, 
set lines 200 pages 100 and then for username for a 30 now if you execute this one Here we can see the C user is SID and serial number. Similarly, B and A user. Now, the user B is now in connected mode. And here, now we will alter system kill session for user B with SID and serial. So how do we do that? Alter system kill session and then we need to give the B user SID SID 35 and then comma then its serial number. Okay. So if we execute this one, the B user session will be killed, system altered. So let's go here, for user, so this is the B user session. So if we are querying any uh, statement like select start from dual let's see is uh, showing an error because the uh, session for this user killed now we will disable the restricted session for all user again Walter system disable restricted session hitting an enter key we can see system altered so go back to user b and connect con b slash b here we can see the user can access or connect with their with its valid credential hope you guys enjoy this tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel keep watching the next tutorial thanks